Good morning. It's Saturday. It's time for another hangout. Uh, hopefully you guys are still in your jammies. <laughs> Let me check for sound. Seems like there's a lot of lag today, so hopefully that's not a problem. Okay, we got sound. All right, let me share links. I have news that is hot off the press. Breaking news just came out just now. We'll talk about that here in a second. I'll let people get logged in. If you're here, go ahead and comment so that I know that you're here. Good morning, good morning. If you guys are still in your jammies, I wish I were in my jammies, but I am in my big comfy sweatshirt, so that's close enough. Okay, got a lot of buffering going on. Hopefully that's not a problem today. Joe's here. Hey girl, hey. Good morning. Millie's here. Hey, girl. Hey. <clears throat> I have news hot off the press. Brand spanking new news. Which I'm a little torn how I feel about it. <laughs> a little torn. Wait a couple more minutes and see if anybody else pops in before we start. How's everybody's week been? Good, I hope. I hope you have some caffeine. Oh, except for Joe. She might be trying to go to sleep here pretty soon. I need Coca-Cola to sponsor my videos. I need it to get through these sometimes because I'm always tired. I get up early for you girls. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, hot off the press. Avon has changed their return policy. And I am pretty darn confident that they did it because of the Maven discussion that we had on the Maven page. So... I know that they're watching it. They're just hiding from us, probably because they didn't send us our 
our packages when they said they were going to. Um, either that or they've forgotten how to log on and are just reading the comments from the emails and <laughs> or checking the page that way. At least it's been really cold where she lives. It's been really cold here too. Like when I got up this morning and checked my phone, it was registering zero degrees. Ugh. Joe doesn't have a day off till the 20th. Ugh. Girl. Tell him I said that's not okay. So Shannon said, <laughs> you get a day off. I'm sure they'll jump all over it. I'm sure they'll be like, oh, okay. Well then we'll we'll let you have a day off for sure. <laughs> Ugh. Are you filling in for somebody? Where do you live, Millie? What state are you in? All right. Okay, so hot off the press. Avon has changed their return policy. So <clears throat> it's going to start to be printed apparently on the back of the catalog, and it's going to say, Oh, Millie's in Pennsylvania. Joe's last day off was the second. <laughs> um, on the back of the catalog, it is going to say that customers have 90 days to return their products. Um, from the time they receive them if they're not happy with them and representatives have 120 days to do the return if a customer is not happy with something or we're not happy with something so what does that mean for your business well the first thing is that it means that you need to get your products to your customers right away because you know, if you wait, if you if you don't run into them for however many weeks and get their products to them late, and then they take that 90 day from the time they received it um, into account and want to do a return, and you know, time is ticking, and you can't handle it before 120 days from the time that you ordered it, then you're going to be SOL. You're going to have to give them their money back, and you're just going to be stuck with it. Right. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you're getting your customers orders to them in a timely fashion, especially if you know they they do a lot of returns or if you think that there's potential that there might be a return situation involved. Um, you know, but also that's going to be a big change for long term, long time customers. You know, it's always I mean, there really has never been a guideline, just plain and simple. If somebody wasn't happy with something, Avon took care of it. So that's going to be different for some customers who, you know, historically speaking, have known that they, if something, you know, if they weren't happy with something, they didn't have to rush and get it back and all that kind of thing. So take that into consideration. I'm a little torn about it because in, on one side, I'm, I'm glad that they, you know, put some verbiage in place because they really didn't have any any you know solid standard in place other than you know 100% guaranteed um, but on the other side it makes me think well you know that means companies like Victoria's Secret Direct and some other online companies have better return policies than us now because uh, you know a lot of places will take a return no matter when but they just do like a customer credit like a store credit you know even if it's been past a certain amount of time and so now we don't have that we can't we're, we we don't compete with that now um you know in a way i would have liked to for them to have said you know even with reps that we could do some kind of a credit or an exchange past you know the 90 days that we could then roll down to our customer as well but i don't know so you know i have a little bit of mixed feelings but i am number one i'm glad that they're listening to us because we had that whole big conversation 
on the Maven page. And then number two, I'm glad that they have put something into writing so that it's, you know, it's clear, it's clear to the customers, it's clear to the reps and all of that. So Joe says a girl got into an accident and can't come back to work. So she's filling in until they get someone hired and trained. Ugh. You better ask for a bonus girl. <laughs> well, overtime, I guess, huh? You're going to be tired for sure. They better give you an extra week's vacation. Let you take it right after. <laughs> well, I hope she's okay. Did you guys hear about that crazy pile up in Kalamazoo, Michigan? I used to live in Michigan, so it caught my attention. But there was 90 some cars in pile up, and I guess the, one of them was a truck that was full of fireworks that all blew up and craziness because of the weather. Crazy. Okay, so what do you guys think about the return policy? Yay, nay, don't really care one way or another. The new return policy. Um, like it, don't like it. See the need for adjustments to it. Curious. Okay, so campaign six. <clears throat> This is the denim campaign. Let me switch screen so I can see. Joe says she's glad a lot of customers, if they don't like a product, uh, she usually offers credit off their order. Oh, Millie said that. Millie's glad because if her customers don't like a product, she offers a credit off their order and they don't mind it. Joe says she's glad there's a concrete plan. So now everybody's, you know, clearing on the same page. Yeah. Oh, that's good. No vehicle is a bummer. Hopefully she had insurance and can get something that way. Millie likes it because she's heard of people waiting a long time to return items. Yeah, if for the for the reps who have that problem customer who uses something for a year and then wants to return it, it's good because Here's how I feel about that. First of all, the rep just needs to have the backbone, backbone and say, no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes a person will go around you and they'll, they'll find somebody who will. But, um, you know, at the same time, it gives them, if they didn't have the backbone to say no in the first place, it gives them the backbone because there's nothing they can do at that point. Although I can see a lot of reps, like, just taking it back anyway and giving customers back and then not processing, you know, and just taking the hit and hopefully they don't do that but there's always a weak link in the chain somewhere <laughs> okay so denim catalog looks like this there's not a whole lot in this catalog that I really wanted to talk about um, but I'll touch on a few things there's not a lot of discontinued stuff there's basically one whole page that is um, all of the the uh, what is it comfort wear boots what am I trying to think of the cushion walk comfort wear there's a page that's all cushion walk boots and it's a cushion walk boot sale that are all while supplies last you know and it's basically all the you know just the winter boots that's not anything surprising the booties and that kind of thing any kind of wintry fall wintry style and then there is a like a now or never page, um, which is while supplies last for mark things. You know, that's I mean, it's all clothing and jewelry, so nothing really super surprising with that. Um, there does seem to be quite a bit of jewelry in this catalog that was not featured in the What's New. So just make sure that you really kind of scour through that. They seem to be doing more and more of that lately. Uh, I'm assuming it's because they don't think that they can provide the quantities to be able to fulfill all of the what's new orders and all of the customer orders. So they're just not putting it in the what's new. But who knows? So just make sure 
that you go through the um, jewelry section, just kind of look things over and make sure that you're familiar with everything that's in there. Because I do feel like, you know, there were um, a couple pages here and there that had jewelry that I don't recall seeing in the what's new. So just an FYI there. And I also wanted to point out that on the back cover, they have the um, the limited edition spring lip balms. They have them introing at 69 cents. So that's really good. I mean, that's good. I mean, not the 99 cents is bad to begin with, but um, you know, that's a really good price. Normally, normally even a lot of times in the outlet catalog, they a lot of times don't go below 79 cents. So 69 cents is really good. And it's also a really good opportunity for you if you try to do any kind of little free gifts with purchases or that sort of thing. Like if you give people something free with a certain order size or if you just like to kind of reward your best customers sometimes, um, this is a good opportunity to kind of stock up for that for, you know, for spraying yourself if you've got the budget prepared for that or if you know that you're going to be doing um, you know, baskets for Easter to sell, like ready-made baskets, or if you know that you're going to be doing some kind of a table or something, you know, your discount on top of, on top of the 69 cents is a really good opportunity. So I just want to make sure I pointed that out. And I wanted to talk about the denim bit in the front because a lot of representatives really like to base their whole kind of sales pitch plan campaign ideas off of whatever's being featured in the book. And in some cases, that's a great idea. In some cases, that's not the best idea. And in this case, I'm going to say it's not the best idea to base your campaign on the whole denim outfit idea. And the reason that I say that is because the majority of these items are not, uh, they're fixed earning. So you can't make more than 20% on them. So, um, you know, I'm not, uh, of course, I'm not saying like, don't sell them to customers or, you know, that kind of thing. But this is where a lot of representatives make poor decisions and they make them based on what they're buying from the what's new. They make them based on, you know, impulse buys themselves and they just don't have a plan. They forget that this is a business and it's not just a way to get a discount on things. And, you know, a lot of representatives really like to demo clothing and um, and I get it because, you know, you see something that's cute and you want it and you're like, oh, I can demo that. But you really should put your focus into things that are full earnings over things that are fixed earnings. So, you know, let let people buy them, whatever. If, if customers are asking you questions about it or if people are saying, oh, these are this stuff's really cute, blah, 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 you know, obviously be supportive of that, but still make your plans on, uh, you know, around um, things where you can get full earnings, like the makeup, you know, the beauty, hair care, obviously skin care, that kind of thing. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out because there are a lot more new representatives starting to, to participate in these videos. And most of the time as a new rep, there's really just nobody kind of guiding you or saying, hey, you know, this is a better idea than that, or don't don't make the same mistakes I did, or, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, really focus your sales more on full earnings opportunities than anything that's fixed earnings. You know, that a lot of people get caught up with that with the kids stuff as well. Um, when we have, you know, some kind of a Disney something or another or whatever, you know, it's still fixed earnings. You might, you can still sell a lot and you can still make good money off of those things, but still keep your focus where the most money is. And that's going to be in things that are not fixed earnings, like skincare and beauty items, some jewelry, you know, but obviously you can always go through item by item. And if you find an item that you really like that happens to not be fixed earnings, because that happens on occasion, not so much with the clothing, but with the jewelry, um, then you know you can feature that if you want to. How much of them is there because there wasn't much in the what's new? There isn't anything extra that wasn't um, 
you know, there isn't anything new that wasn't in the what's new. It's, it's the stuff that's been in the last couple campaigns already. Um, they have the body illusions bootcut jeans, which are the ones that have been there for a while that have the specific sizes. They're the ones that go size 6, size 8, size 10, size 12, size 14, size 16. It's this pair. And obviously those denim shoes that I showed you and that pair of um, jeans that I showed you that has the bling, that pair is in there. Um, also the capris that are relatively new are in there. And then I think there's a, a black pair as, yeah. Yeah, here's the tennis shoes. And then this is the black pair that's been in there for a while, which is also, you know, which is the ones that have the specific sizes. And by specific sizes, I mean it's an actual size. Like this pair of pants is a size 16. It's not a 1460. That's what I mean when I say that. So, I mean, there is some in there, but there's only, you know, really um, the pair that has the bling around the pocket and the denim shoes are the only things that are actually new for this catalog. The capris were new, like in the last one or the one before. You know, they're recent, but they're not brand thinking new. So... Anyway, I mean, enough to say, yeah, we've got denim. <laughs> I think this top is really cute, though. It's that, you know, the more the brush stroke fabric that we've had for the last, well, this, this will be going on three years now, right? Uh-oh. Time for me to plug my computer in. So just, you know, I just want new reps and old reps who haven't really thought about it. Just to be smart, when you're planning your campaign and when you're planning your demos, and make sure that you're taking advantage of opportunities for, for full compensation <laughs> for your time and your efforts in selling. Make sure you're getting um, full award sales, make sure you're getting full earnings, Focus on that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, the new spring candles are in here. I'll just mention that to you, for you, too. New, the spring candles, I don't know if I mentioned the scents last time. I might have. But strawberry whipped cream, crisp cotton, and dewy lilacs. Joe likes the top, too. It is cute. That's one. I really liked the... Um, the first version, uh, you know, the orangey one that they had, and now they have the blue one. The blue one's pretty, too. I just, I don't know. There was something about those fall colors that I liked in the orangey one better. And this one replicates those colors again. They did have the dress. Remember when they did the brushstroke dress? That one was pretty, too. I'm, I'm curious how long they'll keep the brushstroke fabric going, though, because I think at some point people are going to get bored with seeing it. But, But I do like it. Okay, Mark, I'll just show it to you. There's, you know, there wasn't anything in it that was shocking or surprising or alarming or anything like that, but it has the, um, that little sort of peplum imitation top on the front. And then on the back, it has the those two makeup bags. And then there is this little booklet, which doesn't have anything except for the fabric on the front. <laughs> the fabric from the bag. Um, on the back is, let me make sure there wasn't anything in here. I don't think there was anything in here I wanted to really tell you guys about. Nope, nope, nope. Oh yes, there's there are new flyer exclusives. 
in here, which is also jewelry that we, I don't think we saw in the what's new. So on page 13, there is basically a cross two piece gift set, like a necklace and earrings, and then also clover, enamel clover with the necklace and earrings. Miss smell the red velvet candle cake yet. Just thinking about getting that one. Yeah, I haven't smelled that one yet. And since they didn't do the little candle, um, the little wax testers, I didn't buy the, the bookmark testers because I just don't think that they're worth the expense. The jar candles are really, really good. As a matter of fact, um, last night, uh, I was at a party that one of my custom at one of my customers' homes, and she had um, she bought some in the fall. She had like the the pumpkin one going. Oh my gosh, it was so good, and I could smell it. You know, she has a really big townhouse, like a really fancy proofery townhouse, and um, I could smell it as soon as I walked in the door. So the scent throw was really good. I've had uh, I've had a lot of good, and we were there for quite a few hours. And um, it wasn't burning down super fast, you know, so I think it'll last a pretty long time. So I was really impressed. I've had really good luck with the candles. The thing about the candles is they are fixed earnings, so, you know, but I haven't had anybody have one and complain at all. I've had customers be like, man, I bought that and I, I you know, I burn it completely down in a week because I just kept it burning all the time. It smelled so good. So... Yeah, I, I think that the scent throw is, in my opinion, is way better than Bath and Body Works, which is not really that hard to beat, to be honest. <laughs> um, you know, Bath, Bath and Body Works and White Barn uh, have gone way down in, in quality over the years from when they were first introduced, uh, and I'm not really a fan of them now, and I, I, the Avon candles are much better. So, anyway, so here's your flyer exclusives. And there's also one on the back that is watches on the back cover. Animal metallic watch. That is a flyer exclusive. So one thing you have to watch with the flyers, you have to remember that these flyers were created years ago so that you could put these in mailboxes or leave these at the grocery store or, you know, these were supposed to be your tossing books so that you weren't spending and wasting um, all of your money and all of your, your good brochures, your bigger brochures. Because when you toss books, you know, if you toss a hundred, if you toss a thousand, sometimes you're lucky to get one or two customers from it, right? So they were created to have a good variety in them, you know, a little bit of everything, enough to give a person a taste for what Avon has to offer. And then once that person contacts you, then you start to sell, you know, the full brochure to them. But the reason is these are free. And these cost almost two dollars a piece, right? <laughs> so, because I mean, these aren't technically you're paying for these with these, but you know, the idea is throw your free brochures and save the ones that cost you money um, to give to customers that you know are going to buy, right? So you get your money's worth out of it. So now you're really going to have to start thinking about it because now there's going to be items in the flyer that you might want your customer to have the opportunity to get. So, you know, you might start to save these or whatever so that your customer has full range of all of the, you know, your customer that you know buys, your best customers, has an opportunity to buy these as well. Um, I think what I would do, what I do do, because you guys know I only buy 10 books. That's all I've ever bought. I mean, there's maybe been twice in 16 years where I bought like 20. Um, because and I sell at President's Club level with 10 books because my I train my customers to give them back to me I sell in group situations not like parties I mean I, I do parties sometimes but you know I sell in group settings and you only need one book you just 
bring one book and people pass it around and they all convince each other to buy more than they would in the first place and it's, it's great. So what I would do is I would just keep one of these that you let your customer look at and see if they want to buy the things that are the fire exclusives and they hand it back to you, that kind of thing. Um, the, but one thing I want to caution you though is every now and then you have to watch because sometimes there'll be something that's a better price in the flyer that is in the book. And so, you know, kind of watch and make sure you're getting your customers the best deals and that kind of thing because sometimes every now and then you have competing prices between the flyers and the books. So just something to keep in mind. Um, might not ever be an issue for you, but it might. You just never know. <laughs> okay. So then we also have this book. And and I, I have some concerns with this book. <laughs> this is basically one of those skincare sort of extra flyers where they sell all of the, you know, the full sets at a, at a really decent price, you know, all four for whatever price. Joe says the same thing about the Bath and Body Works candles. Yeah, they're just not the same and they're not worth, I mean, I would not pay, I wouldn't pay $5 for one of those candles. These people that are paying 10 and 20 bucks for those have lost their minds. <laughs> lost their minds. In my opinion, the people that are doing that just are, just don't have experience with candles, you know. I mean, Yankee candles are still really good. Yankee candles are not as good a quality as they used to be either, but they're still really good. I still think they beat Bath and Body Works. Um, if you can find a party light representative, party light candles are still the best candles on the planet, hands down. And they're pricey. They're they're pricier than they used to be, but man, they're worth it. Those candles are worth it. They burn all the way down. They, I mean, they're the Scent options are always changing the, um, you know, like the candle holder type stuff is always changing and is really good quality. But yeah, Bath and Body Works, like, the only time I get Bath and Body Works now is if Bath and Body Works give them to me for free, <laughs> which has happened on occasion, but yeah. Okay, so back to this book. Um, so this has all the sets in it, and it does have, not only does it have the new sets, but it does also have the, um, like the Elements line, and it has the Dramatic Firming Cream and the Nurtura and some of the clear skin and that type of stuff. The reason I wanna caution you about this catalog, and I really just want you to think about it. I really want you to think about what your approach is going to be. Do you want to use this, these books or do you not want to, you know, do you want to use these catalogs or do you not want to use these catalogs at all? It has lip balm and hand cream on the back. Is because the brand new um, uh, moisturizing mask, the hydration mask is coming out that we talked about last time. And hopefully, since you know it's coming out, you guys are already taking pre-orders for that because it's double dollars, <laughs> which is why I'm telling you guys this stuff so far in advance because you could already be taking advance orders for it. Here's my concern with it. You know, you've got this book, and people are going to see this, and this is good deals for this the skincare line. But in what, one more catalog or two catalogs, one more catalog, I think, you're going to have the hydration mask and you're gonna have the $15 night cream offer. And the hydration mask you get double credit for. So here's what you don't wanna have happen. You do not want your customer to buy this, these sets now, and then not have the money to buy the hydration mask when you're trying to get double dollars. And I do realize the hydration mask is something that, that could be added into the routine, but you have to think about who are your customers and how much money do they have. Party light, woo! <laughs> Joe broke or warmer? Oof. It's party light, party light. <laughs> Great minds, think alike. Um, so you have to think about your customers. You know, if you've got customers that have money coming out of their ears, then they're not going to care that they just bought this full set. They'll still buy the hydration mask and might buy the night cream for $15 on top of it and have a backup and it doesn't matter. But if your customers, if you know that they're scraping together the funds for this, 
just because it's a good deal. You really need, oh, there's a cardinal outside. It's so pretty, it's red, squirrel. Um, you really need to have them, you need to focus on the hydration mask because you're gonna get double the credit for the hydration mask. So if you have customers that you feel like are going to have to choose based on their income, don't show them this and be pre-ordering the hydration mask with them. Um, just keep the focus where it needs to be because if they do need a night, the night cream, they can get the night cream for $15, which along with the hydration mask, which is less than $44.99 still because the hydration mask is gonna be like, what was it, like $25? So 25 plus 15 is definitely less than $54.99, right? Um, so that's a better deal financially, not necessarily number of product wise, but financially that's smarter for them. Um, if you think that they would buy both, if you think that they would buy the set and the hydration mask, you might want to consider just this one time. Don't make this a habit. Do not set your customer expectations that you always give discounts because that will be a huge mistake and you will not survive selling Avon for very long because you will be giving stuff away. And if you just wanna buy people stuff, then you should just buy people stuff. <laughs> if you want to make money, then you gotta be smart and make money. So just this one time, you could say to them, hey, if you will pre-order with me the hydration mask now and pay for it up front, I will give you 10% off of the set that you that you are wanting to order right now as it is. Okay, because then you can sell them both. They're getting an even better deal on their set, It's which is an incentive for them to buy the hydration mask and to pay you up front, right? Don't go, don't give them more of a discount than 10% if you're a new rep, because you're probably only making 20% on your, on your orders anyway. And that money is gone when you buy books and you pay your processing fee. So you really don't have the money to really be giving them the 10% to begin with, right? Most of you, uh, especially if you are at 20%. If, now, if, you're, if your order's big enough that it puts you up to 30%, that's different. But if your order's only gonna make you 20%, you don't even have the 10% to give them the discount to begin with, because you're not making enough money to do that, to be able to afford it. If you get up to 30 or 35% or 40%, you know, just on this one order, then then you can afford the 10% unless you're buying like a gazillion books or a bunch of stuff out of the what's new for yourself. So, you know, I'm not saying don't sell this to your customers. I'm not saying, I'm just saying that you don't want them to spend all their money to buy the kit and then two weeks from now when the hydration mask comes out, not be able to buy the hydration mask. And you need people to buy the hydration mask because you need the double awards points so that you can get to President's Club faster. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So really think about it, think about your customers. There might be some that you can give this to and then some that you shouldn't. Um, you might have a mix and match situation and you just need to think customer by customer or you might have a general idea of your customers kind of in general if you have a decent number of customers and you know, you can just make a decision one way or another. Okay, so this is an important catalog to sort of really think about before you present it. Okay. <clears throat> outlet book. There was not anything in the outlet book that I was surprised to see in there. Um, on the cover is the metallic lightweight laser cut wedge. And on the back is the easy knitted tunic. And it's still a little bit of holiday clearance. Um, the regular type clothing and bags and jewelry clearance. Uh, still some kid stuff. That I mean, some of it's been in the outlet catalogs for a while. <clears throat> it's 
Speed Dry Plus 30 uh, Nail Colors, Pronto Purple, Orange You Quick, and On The Go. We haven't talked about those in a while. A couple colors that are going away. Anything else in here? The Super Extend Extreme Mascara in Brown Black is in here. Which is the yellow one. The tunic run. Oh, the tunic run's really big. Oh, that's good to know. Joe says the purple tunic runs really big. So if your customers, you know, make sure your customers know that if you buy some. Which might be why it's in the Outlet catalog. <laughs> yes, the yellow mascara in brown black. So it might be an indicator of it going bye bye. See anything else in here? The cashmere's in here. Quite a few colors of cashmere. The Magic's cashmere. If you want to stock up on that, I really liked that product. So I'm kind of bummed that it's going away. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All the clear skin stuff. Same stuff that was in there before. There is one of the on the dot lip gloss compacts in there from Mark, which I think was might be the seasonal. Didn't they do a seasonal color for that? A seasonal palette for that? Might be that one. And yeah, that's pretty much you know, your normal outlet catalog, nothing that I'm like. Super surprised to see in there. Um, okay, what's new? What's new? Lipsticks. Campaign 8 is going to be lipsticks. Okay. I guess in campaign eight, it's going to be five for 20. It's going to be the offer. So, um, so there's a new lipstick coming out. It is the ultra color indulgence lip color. Vibrant full color hydrating lipstick with medium to full coverage going to be nine bucks but it's going to be part of the five for 20 offer so they are doing um ultra color and indulgence lip color sample bullets and they haven't done lip color bullets in a while as far as samples go so um and the price isn't bad it's a buck 50 for 10 so we're getting i don't know maybe they it hurt us about the sample thing that samples were getting too expensive to be worth it. So buck fifty for ten. There's going to be a two variety packs. Variety pack one has a handful of colors. Variety pack two has a handful of colors, but there are similarities. So let me tell you what the similarities are. Um, chocolate rose is in both. Honey flower is in both. In bloom is in both. Peach Petunia is in both. Petal Pink is in both. Pink Blossom is in both. And so the only difference is that Variety Pack 1 is going to have the color Orchid Petal. And the color Petal Pink, no, the color Verbena Plum. 
the color poppy pink and the color red tulip. So variety pack one has four colors that are different from variety pack two. Variety pack two is going to have daylily, Oh no, I take it back. Poppy pink is in both. So variety pack one, oh, hold up. Hold the phone. I'm impressed, okay. Okay, no, I take it back. Variety pack one, I think the only color that's different is orchid petal from variety pack two. Other rose. Honey flower and bloom. Okay, no. Orchid petal and verbena plum. It has two colors that are different. And then variety pack two has daylily. And rose bouquet. Okay, so that's kind of annoying to me. I want, I don't know. That's kind of annoying to me. I would rather them have three or four packs that have specific colors and none of them repeat. That's what I want. <laughs> what do you guys think? So yeah, Variety pack one has two different, two colors that are different variety pack two, vice versa. So four colors in total that are different between the two. And this is what the lipsticks are gonna look like. Joe kind of wants to, kind of wants to order the pack just based off the name. <laughs> yeah. They, they changed the sample packs for the regular ultra color lipsticks and they were gone last time. Yeah. Last time you looked. Yep. So that's what the, that's what they look like. A little more, they're more streamlined tubes than our regular tubes. Looks like. So I think the big deal is just, just a weightless formula for addic addictive hydration and an incredibly smooth feel. So they're supposed to be moisturizing and smooth feeling. So maybe they would be a little bit competitive with like, um, you know, Revlon lip butters or something maybe kind of sounds like, although those aren't necessarily hydrating. Maybe better pigmentation. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. And then they're giving you an opportunity to demo the Avon Lipstick Caddy if you want to. Uh, I would say just buy it out of the book and get all the awards points for it if you want. But there's an option there. And then there is a pack that you can buy. This, this might interest you, Joe. I don't know. Um, it has six of the full-size lipsticks, and the colors in the full-size are Poppy Pink, Peach Petunia, Red Tulip, In Bloom, Daylily, and Plum Verbena. And then you get two packs of the samples, so you get a pack of each. And then you get ten Go Crazy for Lipstick recruiting cards. Um... And they do have it in English and Spanish, the, as far as the cards go. It's 14 bucks, um, but it's a $57 value. It's limit one pack per representative. So, let's see. So, I mean, the price, as far as the price point goes, that's a better price than if you were to take advantage of the 5 for 20 and pick five colors yourself out of the book. But you have to take the awards point situation into 
into consideration that you don't, you're not going to get all the awards points. So, but here's what the pack looks like. Yeah, they're shaped like the Mark All Butter Nail Lipsticks. Yeah, it, it could be similar. I could see that being potential. Because <laughs> the All Butter Nail ones, they just, they've discontinued, haven't they? Weren't those in the outlet book? I can't remember. Okay, and then they are giving you an opportunity to demo uh, products that have been around for a while if you want to. One of the products is the Ultra Color Lip Crayon and then the Extra Lasting Lip Stain and Balm. Um, again, you guys know how I feel about demos. I say it every time, and I keep saying it because new reps keep stumbling across these videos. You really need to to not buy demos out of the what's new and buy them from the catalog so you can get the full awards points for it. You can get the full credit so that you can get to President's Club faster. The only time I would say that that's not the case is if it's the very end of the year and there's just no way in heck that you're going to make President's Club and there's no point in even, I mean, look, anybody could say, hey, go for it and pull it off in one campaign, but you know, not everybody has that kind of, you know, time or whatever. They have full-time jobs and everything too. So if it really is not realistic to pull it off in one campaign for you and that's just not going to happen, then towards the end of the year, you could take advantage of demos and, you know, get a better price for them. But you still have to have budgeted for that. So, you know, be smart about it. Um, and then they also are giving you an opportunity. Remember last week I showed you, well, two weeks ago I showed you guys the new nail polish colors and it was in a set like a kit that had the pot and the liner with it well now they're giving you the opportunity to demo them individually if you want to so if you didn't take advantage but but you can still back order one campaign so you could still back order the kit if you wanted to millie doesn't recruit joe doesn't recruit yeah and you know it doesn't say it doesn't say that you, you know that it's only for leadership. So it's not like it's, you know, I mean, the recruiting cards you can just throw away or give just if you know another rep who does recruit if you don't want to recruit. Still price-wise, it's still a better price for the lipsticks and the bullets, even if you're at President's Club. You know, even if you are President's Club, then if you were to buy them out of the catalog, you know, five of them out of the catalog for the $20, Point, price point and the bullets separately. So, Joe says, I need to make the lip crayon in a formula that doesn't have glitter in it. So, yeah. So many love, so many people love lip crayons, but she hears complaints about the glitter. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I don't think it would hurt them any to just mark that on there like they used to, you know. I mean, they used to, the old catalogs, for anybody who's not been around since the dinosaurs were on the earth, like I have, um, the old books, you know, would, they had little symbols at the bottom of each lipstick. And one of the symbols stood for warm, cool, or neutral, which we don't really do, you know, that's not really a trend in makeup anymore. Um, you know, we figured out that you can make any color work for your skin tone, just, you just have to be, just have to know how to use it. <laughs> um, but they used to have that. They used to have the finish. So if it was like a cream finish or a sheer finish or a glitter finish, you know, there was a little symbol that stood for that. Um, basically anything you can think of that you would want to know about the lipstick, um, there was a symbol for it that was underneath every color. So every single color that would be listed in the book, you know, like where they have whatever, however they swatch it, and then they have the name, and then they have the, um, item number right underneath the name and before the item numbers I think they had the little symbols so that you knew exactly what you were buying and I think they they should do that again you know I think ones that have glitter in them they should have a little symbol for glitter or glittery finish and I know that they tried sometimes they try to divide them by finish like they'll have you know they'll split the colors up by finish but I don't know I think the symbols are, 
are just good to have there all the time because then it doesn't matter how they want to present them. The, you know, the finish is obvious. But that's just my opinion. And well, you know how much that's worth. <laughs> okay. Uh, just some cute things. I thought I would show you spring colors. They have a cute little messenger bag and matching uh, matching kicks if you want some matching Ked style shoes. Which are pretty. I like the color. And there's a dress. I think I'll save the dress for you guys to see later. Um, some more curves. Have you guys noticed with the curves, I made some serious complaints about the curved sneakers, how they're plasticky and they fall apart and blah, blah, blah. And like the last two pair of curved sneakers I've noticed have had more like more of a canvas top, which I'm totally for if it means that they will stay together better, if it improves the quality. So, uh, here, I'll show you those since I'm talking about them. Which, you know, the canvas shoes and the mesh style tops, I mean, that's available out on the market in other shoes anyway, so it doesn't hurt to have the variety. But, hey, if that improves quality, then I'm all for it. There's a pair of loafers that I'm kind of like, mm, yeah. I'm going to show them to you and see what you think. I don't know. The colors are pretty, but I don't know. Yeah. They feel very matronly, I think, to me. Even though the colors are nice and bright. The style of the shoe is cute. I don't know, something about that pattern is just not floating my boat. And I don't know. I don't know. There's some dolman sleeve tops, which are like the bat wing style tops, where it kind of has the extra fabric a little bit here. Doesn't look like it's extreme, but but I'm gonna save those for you guys so you have something to look at. Uh, lots of new jewelry. There's really only one piece that I want to show you because I love it. It's very different for us. Jo Joe's glad about the the fabric uh, top shoes too because of the issue with curved shoes. Um, yeah, I want to show you this necklace because it's so stinking cute and it's very different for Avon. It's very different for their style and I like when they step outside the conservative box, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Can you see it? It's kind of like southwestern style. Yeah, exactly. Florida retirement community, you hit the nail on the head. That's, you got it. That's exactly how I think about it. I love the color. There's just something about it that's very old ladyish, And I know they're not meaning it to look that way. I know. And I know there's going to be some 20-something girl who's going to buy them and she'll look totally cute in them and I'll be pissed at her. But <laughs> I hate those young girls can pull off anything. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I, what you can't see is these bottom, like these bottom little beads that are kind of hanging off. Um, they have like color kind of swirled into them as well. So they're kind of marbleized sort of, not exactly like turquoise would be, but sort of, I don't know. I just really like it because it's different and I like it. <laughs> so that's really cute. It's gonna be pricey. It's gonna be $24.99 which is not cute. I don't necessarily support the, pr the price. I think $14.99 would be the perfect price point for that. But, you know. 
They don't ask me these things. If they did, they would probably sell more. Just saying. Um, still more jewelry. There's they've been doing a lot more fine jewelry lately. There's a bunch of fine jewelry coming out. Um they brought out a sterling silver silver buckle ring. I have a buckle ring from back when buckle rings were popular. They're not really popular right now, so I don't, I'm, I don't know why they brought that out. I mean, it's cute, and I still like buckle rings, but they're just not a trend right now, so I feel like that's, I don't know why they did that. There's a cute little arrow one, though, that's really on trend, and there's a cute little, the anchor's pretty cute, too. The arrow is really on trend right now, though. 20-year-old girls dye their hair gray now, so those lovers will look gray on them. <laughs> That is so true. Yep. Nailed it. <laughs> That's what we should call that style. Retirement home chic. <laughs> we'll say Florida Village for short. She's so Florida Village. Southwestern meets Egyptian. Yeah, it's like, it's different. It's like you get the Southwestern feel of it, but you, but yeah, it's different. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, this is pretty cute, although I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about the fabric because it is 100% polyester. This is in the Mark stuff now. Um, but it's, it's like it's kind of like a dip dyed maxi except for it's dark on the bottom and it's full length it's not to the ground but definitely to the ankles but i think that's really cute for spring you see it you see how it gets dark down at the bottom so really cute i like that i don't know about polyester not, I'm not always a fan of polyester. Um, there's some cute little gladiator sandals and three of a kind bracelet set. They are doing a bralette and tank set, just black, but I'll save that for you guys. I'll show you this because I think this is really cute. And it's very similar to a jacket that they had probably about maybe eight years ago. It's called the Luck of the Drawstring Anorak, and it's a Mark jacket, and they have it over this romper, and I'm going to show you the romper, too, because I think that's really cute, too. So the jacket is just very, um, what do I want to call it? Uh, I don't know. There's a name that, for this kind of a jacket, and now I can't think of what it is. But it's got drawstrings, it's got nice pockets, it's got a lot of detail on the sleeve. Like the sleeves can be um, drawn up. See how she has it drawn up with ties? Or you can let that loose so it goes all the way down. There's snaps, there's a hood, there's a zip and snaps here. Like really cute. I really like it. Um, drawstring around the waist. Wish I could think of the name of the kind of jacket. But anyway, there was one that was similar that didn't have nearly this much detail to it about eight years ago or so. And I, I have that one. And it's it's really nice. So this is like the next step up type thing. Um, but she's wearing underneath. Underneath, it's a romper. That's what I want to show you next. It's like a little shorts romper. And it has little zippers on the um, hip pockets. Are you talking about this one or are you talking about the um, the peach one that was black at the bottom or dark at the bottom? Joe, I'll show it to you more up close. I think you're talking about this one, though. Not sure. Not sure. The lag is pretty bad today, so I'm getting everything really far behind. <laughs> but, yeah, so cute little jumper outfit. This is all one piece. You know, the top, it's all attached. 
So that's a, that's a really cute outfit. I really like that, even with the jacket over it. Um, but th if you were talking about this one, this is a skirt. They have a top over top of it, like a lace top, which is on another page. They're basically trying to get you to buy the lace top plus the um, bralette tank set to wear underneath it plus the dip dye skirt. <laughs> so, you know, it's a $100 outfit, basically. She's got on there, but yeah, because the top is like um, lacy, so it's separate. So you can buy the skirt separate. Um, there's some cute shoes, which I will save for you, and a cute bag, which I will save for you. This is cute. I love unicorns, so I'm going to show you this because I like them. Um, it's necklaces, and it's like a two-piece. It's like where one is a little bit shorter than the other, so it looks like you have two necklaces layered when you really don't. And the bottom one is like a horseshoe with rhinestones, which I could kind of live without the rhinestones. But the top one is a little tiny unicorn, and I love it. So if you're a giant kid like I am and you love unicorns, <laughs> I used to collect unicorns when I was a kid. And... This isn't really my taste, but it's cute. Um, it's kind of like a whole bathroom put together for you, kind of. There's a shower curtain that actually comes with the rings, so that's nice. And also comes with a little, um, like an organizer that also hangs on the rings. And then you can also buy a a bath mat that matches it and it's like a memory foam bath mat so it's one of those squishy ones and you probably are not going to be able to see the detail on the bath mat but it has little flowers kind of uh, sort of etched in it I don't know what the proper word would be but so there's the small picture I'm trying to get it close so you can see the little flowers they're probably gonna be blurry But here's the whole thing, you know. So if that's your taste. It's very springy, so it's not, like, year-long appropriate. I mean, some people will put it up and leave it up. But um, for anybody who's got a blue or a purple or a green or an all-white bathroom. But you can see how the little organizer thing that comes with the shower curtain hangs kind of with it. And it has all of the... Um, all the metal hooks, the 12 metal hooks that come with it too. And it's going to be $24.99, which for all three, all of that stuff together is not bad. The bath mat is going to be $16.99. So the bath mat, a little pricey. But the whole, but the price for the shower curtain and all that, I don't think is, is terrible. You can buy the whole set together though for $34.99. So if they want the bath mat and the shower curtain, there's going to be a price for both. Just as the lace top is cute too, I know. <laughs> but I don't know, it's gonna get you blowing your money on that campaign. I know, right? For reals. I might, I don't know. I might squeeze my booty into that jumper though. It's pretty cute. And the jacket, I'm I really like the jacket. I'm tempted to upgrade. It's pricey though. It's gonna be $60 for the jacket. And the romper is $38, so mark prices are still climbing. They're not getting any lower. They're they're going, continuing to go up. Even the maxi skirt is $42. I mean, that's a lot for polyester. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, and then on the back cover, they have another, like, advanced order pack. Yeah, 34 is not bad for the whole thing. The only thing they're missing is a garbage can, you know? A fuzzy toilet paper, or toilet paper, a fuzzy toilet cover, toilet seat cover. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so there's an advanced order pack on the back where you can save 45%. And it's on the Luminous Lux body washes. These are Skin So Soft body washes that are coming out. Creamy lathering formulas infused with golden shimmer. Cleanse and luxuriously moisturize so skin feels touchably soft and looks radiantly clean. So there's going to be three scents. Obviously, there's going to be Signature Silk, Original, and Soft and Sensual. And the Advanced Order Pack is a six-piece pack. So it has two of each in it. If you buy it, it's going to cost you $13.17 plus the tax for, plus the amount that the customer tax would be, not the tax that would be on your bundle. You earn $10.77. It's a no limit delayed billing situation, so you can order as many as you want and you pay for it later. So you order in campaign six or seven and you get billed in campaign eight, pay with campaign nine. Um, the your cost pack price counts towards award sales, so it's not full award sales and you know earnings, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and that's what they use to calculate the leadership bonus. All units count towards credit limit, so you might have to pay in advance. And it's all based on the campaign eight special pricing. So if you don't sell it in campaign eight and the price goes up or down, <laughs> a lot of times it goes down and you end up not being able to get your money back. If you don't sell them quickly. Um, but it's all based on campaign eight price. And it looks like they're, they eventually will be $7, but they're going to intro at $3.99. But here's what they look like. Joe says, at that price, you'd rather squeeze your booty into the romper than the skirt. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pricey for a polyester skirt. It's pretty, though, or it seems like it will be pretty. But I'm, you know, this is a business. <laughs> it's my business. I got to earn money, not spend it. It's hard. Real hard. Okay, so there's that. And that is pretty much all there is. Uh, anything you guys want to see or want to know more about or see more up close or anything that I mentioned that you're just really dying to see? There is, oh, with the curve stuff, it's not a curves item, but there is going to be one of uh, a two-pack of um, camis that have the shelf bra in them. It's not Curves branded, but. Anything you have questions about or want to see more of or want me to try to get into focus more up close or <laughs> whatevs. Next time we meet on the 24th, two Saturdays from now. Bueller, Bueller. Let me show you this real quick because I think this is a little strange. Um, it's a stackable ring set that has three, three rings that stack. But two of them are exactly the same. I think that's a little weird. <laughs> it's pretty. I like it, but I wish they would do three different instead of two the same in this case. Right there. I don't know. What do you guys think? They're pretty. I just thought it was a little odd that they're. I mean, normally when you see two the same, it's it's a set that has like five or eight stackable rings. When you see two the same, not when it's not when there's three. I don't know. I still think that necklace is probably my pick of the catalog, though. The, the jacket's pretty close, but the jacket's going to be pricey, so. Yeah, poor Joe might, have, might be working. I hope not. 
hoping she'll have the Saturday off. Are you still working nights? Or are you working a different shift now since you're filling in? Or are you working every shift? <laughs> Joe might be working all the shifts. See how bad the lag was today. It seemed like it was really bad when I started up. All right. I think that's it for this time. If you think of anything that you want to know later on, you know how to find me. I'm everywhere. All right, girls. It's been fun, as always. Oh, wait. Joe says she feels like they she did the same they did the same thing with the Art Deco collection that just came out. They just turned the two that were the same in opposite directions so they look like different rings. Yep. I think you are right. I don't know. It just seems like a waste of the effort, you know. I don't know. All right, girls. Joe's still midnight. Okay, well, at least they're not working every, all, all the hours. <laughs> all the days, not the all the hours. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.